if you have tried all the strategies and they, they are not working and you feel like you want to give up don't give up watch this video and maybe maybe you will change your mind you'll change your perspective and you'll approach the market in a different way today i've decided to teach you guys about trend line i want you to understand how the market operates how the market works and you understand in a point of you're coming in to win you're coming in to make profit so guys if you're interested continue watching so i like uh, approaching the market from higher time frame when it comes to trend line and that's what we'll do together that's what we'll do together so today i'll be analyzing gbp card and i will start i will start from a higher time frame so i have told you i have told you we will i've told you we will start with our monthly chart so this is what you do the number one thing go to your monthly chart open your trading view go to your monthly chart mark the highest point and the lowest point so make sure you have marked the highest point of the market make sure you have marked the highest point of the market and you have marked the lowest point of the market so we want to start our trend line uh we want to putting our trend line from the highest of course the highest point so the first thing that you need to understand is how do you place your trend line because that's a question that i get asked most of the time how do you place your trend line for me and the way i see uh working i don't place my trend line on the body like that this is not what i do i don't place my trend line on the body i make sure my trend lines are at the end of the week so even you because i'm teaching you something i have tested make sure your trend line are at the week mm -hmm. so that's something uh of concerning and don't mm -hmm. allow the body the trend line to cut the body for instance if i try to fix this trend line to come my way i will have cut these bodies so the bodies of the candle so make sure nothing is being cut on that trend line it's better the trend line to be very far away rather than it being cut because the, the the importance of the trend line is to guide you trend line works as resistance or support so if the trend line are not accurate they will misguide the whole analysis so from these two points that's where my trend line is going then from that place all the way we try to connect there and see as long as the trend line is not cutting a price like that it's fine so let's continue and then i think uh still we are in monthly time frame still i think here we need another trend line so guys if you follow this and you feel like 2022 you want to start afresh you want to have a new strategy try trend line this this strategy really works uh trend line strategy really works and if you give it time you practice uh by yourself you give it time you find that uh you have mastered it so what you do uh on the upside you do on the downside so mm. what we were doing we were putting trend line on the upper market so we will do on the lower market remember guys i've not changed my time frame still i'm on my monthly time frame so when i'm satisfied monthly trend lines are fine now i can go to weekly time frame so this is what you do on week weekend weekends on study and sunday when the market are closed so we are assuming the market are closed and now this is what we are doing we are analyzing our chart so weekly we are just adjusting those trend line and the best thing with trend line you can see those areas when they are approaching the trend line they get the price get start, starts to be rejected so that's something i've come to realize with trend line it is very clear where the price or where the attention is because when the price approaches that level the 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 price gets rejected with weeks the presence of the weeks so we are on the daily and then we do all this all the way to 4 hours then after 4 hours now we can anticipate i can show you the next step so you are just adjusting your trend line and then now we go to to 4 hours so we are going to 4 hour to see if we can still adjust 
another trend line. Guys, this is very simple. Make sure you rewatch this video. See how I'm trying to adjust. Like here, you can see this week is coming out. I just need to adjust. I just need to adjust that trend line. Just need to adjust it like that. So if it cuts your, your week, just adjust it. So I need to put another trend line there for me to guide me. If the market still continue to go up, maybe it can come to react to, it can start to react to that trend line I have put there. So when you don't have this trend line, you may think the market will approach this zone. When you don't have this trend line, you may think the market will come here. But whenever the market comes, it keep bouncing back to this trend line. So those guys who don't use trend line, they wonder what is the market doing. But that person with a trend line, they already know the story of the market and they can even tell what is, what is about to happen. So trend lines are very, 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 very important, if I may say. So uh, I can also see another chance here to put a very tight trend line so that now we can, we, I can show you now what, what you do after you place the trend line because placing the trend line from monthly, weekly, daily for hours is one thing, but knowing what to do after the trend line, uh, you have put your trend line is the most important, actually is the key thing to make profits, to have consistent trading. So when you have done all these trend lines, um, the one rule about trend line and what I have seen it work with time is if the trend line, if the candle, let's say the buyers break this trend line, let me even give an example. If buyer breaks that trend line, if buyer breaks that trend line, the, the price will touch the next trend line. So that is there. That is the way this market works. If it breaks one trend line, it will go to the next. So if you don't, if you didn't know that, now you know. So if we are working on the downside, let's say a, a very bearish candle, a red candle breaks that trend line, most probably 99% the market will touch here. It will eventually come to this place. It can bounce back and continue an uptrend. That one we don't know, but if it breaks, the body breaks, the market most probably 99% it will drop to the next trend line. If now again the trend, the, the candle breaks, it will go to this trend line and so on and so on. So all you need to, to do, analyze from monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, and then wait for the break of candle. If it breaks above and close above, you buy. If it breaks below and close below, you sell. It's that simple, guys. That that simple. So for us, we just now need to, to say what are we anticipating on this market because we need to anticipate so that when we do the play button, we will know if we were right. So for me, if I come to this place, first of all, I need to identify, I can see a double top. There's a, a, a pattern here. There's a pattern here, double top, and this being the neckline. So for me, I'm more of selling this market rather than buying the market. The only time I can buy this market is only if I find a candle, a very, very bullish candle, green candle, closing above this. And again, I have maybe another candle closing above the other trend line. So I may I may be thinking of maybe buying a uh, long term. But if that doesn't happen, I will stick to myself because one, I have a pattern that is a double top. I have a neckline. And I'm anticipating overall because this is where the market approached. Uh, this market where the market was coming from before it went to make the first stop. I'm anticipating if this trend line is broken, market it will come eventually there. So there's someone who can trade bear charts with no trend line because they know about the pattern they will still do the same analysis like for us and they will already know the market will drop to that zone if the neckline is broken so regardless the 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 strategy that you use as long as it works for you that is good so don't change a strategy because you feel like other people have new strategy as long as it is working for you 
go with it. So let's now do the play back mode let's do the playback mode so that we can see i've told you for me what i'm checking i'm checking on selling this market i'm checking on selling so for me i want let me give you uh, the idea of what i'm looking the market breaks the trend line close below then come retest then that is my take profit that's where i'm, I'm targeting so let's do the playback the play mode so we can see the market is still not approaching that the reason why we put the trend line is to remove the pressure the pressure of the market so whenever you remove the pressure of the market from um you want to be a buyer you want to be a seller i have told you, you can only be a buyer if it breaks above this trend line you can only be a seller if it breaks below so let's continue playing and we can see the candles that have come they are still inside where we want them to be so the rejection of that trend line is still continuing we can still we can still see uh sellers are coming in very very closely to our trend line but guess what we are not they are not able to break until they break that's the, the time that will be able to will be interested with this sale so they are coming they are playing on that trend line perfect so so for me this is what i was telling you guys so my trend line has been broken you can see my trend line has been broken so what is the next thing that the market will do the market will come to this place to retest the trend line so i'll just extend my trend line like that so that if the market comes to touch that place i'll be ready now to enter sell remember the market has to come here it has to come here so because the trend line has been has been broken so i'm just waiting the market to do a pullback then i see the candle for sell entry then i will enter so let's continue and see what really happened so uh, as you can see if that place is a zone it's the neckline i was telling you guys about and it has been broken so the person who was trading double top already the neckline has been broken so this person who who they saw for them they saw a double top so for them they saw a double top let me show you because the market as much as you may want to do trend line there's someone who is doing the patterns so for me i can see a pattern inside uh this whole thing the trend line thing and i can see for sure the 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 trend line has been broken the neckline has been broken so for sure the market will drop up to this zone but it has to pull back and that's what we are waiting so that even if that person who was um trading double top they will be preparing to enter because already it has broken the the, the neckline so let's continue and see so the market still it's trying to push the buyers are trying to push we are waiting for that pullback we are waiting for the pullback so exactly that's what i was waiting for so this pullback this candle it has touched remember we have to we have this trend line that was broken but remember also we have the trend line that was not getting broken by buyers so the market touching this trend line it is an indication that we can have a sale that we can have let's prepare for a sale so the minute that market touches that candle touches that trend line even if it doesn't touch this trend line where we wanted the market to to test the trend line we are good to go so for us now what we just we just want is a we want a sell candle like a sell candle that will show us for entry we just want an entry candle so let's continue we are looking for entry candle so as long as the candle first of all is not red is not engulfing is not a doji we are not interested so let's continue looking for those candles for me um i cannot really say this candle is uh you see i cannot say these two candles are good candles for entry why because of the presence of the week if you have not watched my video on the candlesticks patterns that you need to know by 2022 uh and they are very profitable i talked about one of the candles uh what one of the things that the candle do is the 
is the the presence of the week so when the candle has the presence of the week it means there is something that is getting rejected so when the sellers coming and there is the presence of the week it's like they are getting rejected so i'm not quick to i'm not quick to 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 sell so i'll just wait for that candle uh, the red candle the bearish candle to come and as you can see the market still want to test my it wants to test my trend line if you can notice that the buyers are willing to push this market but there are so much resistance at this zone so you're not in a rush to enter sell yet though that you know that the market shall drop you don't want to enter too early to get stopped out. What you want to see is that, yes, it has done what step one, step two, step three, and the market has approached this. So now we want to see this bullish candle getting rejected. So let's see what happens. And that is the rejection that I was talking about. So, so after immediately it closes, I just enter sell. Remember, guys, what did I tell you? I'm targeting the trend line. My stop loss, of course, is that the low of that candle, the, the high of that candle. So I can have to take profit, guys, because I have noticed with GBP card, it tends to respect zone. I can have my first take profit on that black line. Why? Because sometimes you may want to target the trend line, but it can take days. I told you, the tr when one trend line is broken, the, it has to go to the next trend line. But the time, the time frame, the time that it will take, you cannot even tell. Nobody knows. So it can take days. It can be tiresome. But to come to the zone, this market to come back to this zone is very easy. So let's see what will happen. So this is our first trade after we have identified the breakage of the trend line. So let's see. You can see the way it is approaching that zone very well and getting rejected where we have put our black line. That's what I was telling you. The minute you, you target the trend line, be, you, you must be a patient, someone who is very patient. But if you don't have patience, if you don't have patience, just target this zone. So for me, the zone was touched very quickly but it took like a whole day just retracing back but eventually it hit our take profit so guys what can we see from this market it has broken the trend line so because the trend line has been broken we are targeting this zone so all we need to see is a small push up or a small pullback then we can enter this trade so let's see what happens so after the big see guys after the big uh bearish momentum are uh, trying to show us that the market is ready to go to our trend line what happens the market comes back so will it now give us an entry we cannot enter if it has not touched the two zones so let's see if the market touches the two zones so we are we are waiting to see if the market touches the two zones let's see so that you can see that it has um uh, this place has a very it is the market is uh staying in the one place it is creating a zone and that's why i was saying you can incorporate something like a moving average and let me just put 20 ema and see if we could have gotten an entry so immediately i put a moving average see everything changes now i'm not trying to look on the black line i'm eyeing when the market approaches or touches the moving average because sometimes you may think this is the zone this is the zone but the moving average make everything easier so for me i have tried to incorporate the moving average in my trading more so pull back because once the market broke here even if you entered immediately you would have made money sometimes entering immediately it can take you to some drawdown and maybe your account it cannot hold but that's why we say allow the market to do the pullback so when we if we we allowed the moving average or we had the moving average and we saw that week our entry would be at that place so let's uh continue 
and see what happened after the moving average see the market touched up the trend line the tre the next trend line so the moving average really works guys the moving average really works more so the 20 ma when you want the entry level once it touches and it has done everything that you had said you can do your entry now our final line that we want this market to touch is this line we want the market to touch this line but what we need to wait is we just need to wait for what we just need to wait for the market to break here and close below so if it doesn't break below we are not interested so we can see some rejection there and then we can see the market is pulling back going to our 20 ma let's see what it does immediately it touches our 20 ma the market start coming down coming down again and then there it has broken so guys the minute the market you see there's someone who can interpret this is a, a breakage of trend line but for me i would suggest a candle that it's not manipulated with the wicks that one i'm more confident taking trades with it so from me for here i know the trend line has been broken so all i need to do you can have two entries you can enter immediately i'll do a short position because the candle that has broken this trend line is very tiny meaning the market can continue going down so my target is that level and my stop loss why is your stop loss my stop loss would be this high because i'm not sure the market can the market may come to this trend line try to manipulate the ma the price stop out some people so i want to be safe so let's see what happens it will be stopped out so immediately the market approached uh continued going down let's see if it will hit our tp or it will uh eventually go up so it ha it is almost and that is it so what i was worried about is the market can manipulate touching the trend line but of course come back to this zone so guys that is how we trade the trend line that's how we trade the trend line if you can check all the trend line that i have i i had you that's from this place from the the tightest the this tiny trend line we got a chance to trade we got a chance to trade here here we missed the the chance because we had not uh, we had not put in the the 20 ma that's what i wanted to show you guys sometimes you may try to put the 20 ma for you to see even even you can see here the market approached the 20 ma so thank you so much for watching i hope this video will be helpful I hope you'll understand. I hope you'll start incorporating trend line in your trades. Just I uh, for for I can just repeat what I have said. Monthly chart, weekly, daily and 4 hours is just putting those trend lines in place. Then when you come to 4 hours, what you just need to see is the trend line being broken. Once the trend line is broken, it has to go to the next place. It has to. So for me, I thought um the next trend line that we have here the next trend line that we have here is this one 6109 if this market we can just do a play and see if that market broke that trend line one day one day one time the market will come to that place of 61 so that's what we all look into the market so i'll just stop the playback mode the minute that trend line has broken it will approach this market but because the distance is very long the, ma the 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 market makers may try to manipulate the price even for one month for people to forget and then eventually they bring the market down so guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye love you